As the political landscape in the United States continues to shift and evolve, the anticipation surrounding the 2024 presidential election is building steadily, setting the stage for a high-stakes contest between former President Donald Trump and current Vice President Kamala Harris. Recent analyses of polling data, utilizing methodologies deemed reliable from the previous election cycle, offer a fascinating glimpse into the potential trajectories of both candidates. This exploration of possible outcomes provides crucial insights into the dynamics that could ultimately shape the electoral contest, revealing how each candidate might fare under varying circumstances. In a scenario that markedly favors Donald Trump, the former president appears poised to achieve not only a significant lead in the Electoral College, but also to win the popular vote by a substantial margin of approximately 12 percentage points over Kamala Harris. This projection aligns with findings from a recent poll conducted by the reputable pollster Russ Musen, suggesting that such an outcome, while optimistic, remains within the realm of statistical plausibility. Within this hypothetical framework, Trump's appeal resonates powerfully across a diverse array of states, particularly those that have historically leaned Republican. Key states projected to swing decisively in Trump's favor include Utah, Idaho, and Texas, where he is anticipated to secure victory margins of 25 points or more. The Midwest, a region that has historically served as a crucial battleground in presidential elections, shows robust support for Trump as well. Specifically, states like Ohio and Iowa are forecasted to yield victory margins of approximately 19 points each. Florida, often regarded as a linchpin in the electoral map due to its critical importance, is predicted to deliver an impressive 20-point victory for Trump. This potential outcome underscores his capability to mobilize voters effectively in pivotal regions that could determine the overall election result. As this analysis unfolds, it becomes increasingly evident that Trump is likely to claim around 251 electoral college votes from states categorized as safe for Republicans. This figure starkly contrasts with Harris's ability to secure only a limited number of strongholds, including Massachusetts and Vermont. The disparity in electoral outcomes vividly illustrates the potential for a lopsided contest should these projections come to fruition, painting a picture of a race where one candidate may hold a distinct advantage over the other. Conversely, when examining Kamala Harris's best-case scenario, the vice president is projected to win the popular vote by a margin of nine points. However, her electoral success appears to be largely confined to traditional Democratic strongholds, which include California, Oregon, and several northeastern states. Notably, even in her most favorable scenario, Harris's performance is characterized by underwhelming margins compared to those achieved by President Joe Biden during the previous election cycle. This reality signals an uphill battle in galvanizing widespread support across a diverse electorate. Harris's projected victories in critical states, such as New York and Illinois, showcase her ability to solidify her base, yet they simultaneously raise pressing concerns about her overall appeal among certain voter demographics. While she is anticipated to secure a substantial portion of the African-American vote, her campaign faces significant hurdles in winning over Hispanic and Asian voters. These demographic shifts could pose considerable challenges for her campaign, as historically, these groups have played a crucial role in Democratic electoral success, and losing ground with them could have serious implications. A more in-depth examination of Harris's Electoral College map reveals a highly competitive landscape, with her projected victories in key battleground states often coming by narrow margins. States such as Michigan and Pennsylvania, which once appeared to favor Democrats, are now depicted as fiercely contested battlegrounds. This evolving situation underscores the fluidity of voter sentiment and the complexities that both candidates must navigate as they prepare for the upcoming election. The shifting dynamics in these battlegrounds highlight the unpredictable nature of electoral politics, where a single demographic shift or unforeseen event could dramatically alter the course of the race. The juxtaposition of Trump's and Harris's best-case scenarios not only highlights the stark divisions within the electorate, but also underscores the distinct strategies each candidate must adopt to secure victory. For Trump, the imperative lies in solidifying support in swing states and traditionally Democratic regions. His ability to connect with Hispanic voters and other demographic groups that have historically leaned Democratic could significantly reshape the electoral landscape, potentially signaling a broader realignment of political affiliations in the United States. Such a shift could have long-lasting implications, not just for the current election cycle, but for the future of American politics as a whole. On the other side of the aisle, Kamala Harris must confront the pressing need to address vulnerabilities within her campaign. This includes not only solidifying support among her core constituents, but also ensuring robust engagement from demographics that may feel disillusioned or marginalized within the current political climate. Mobilizing support among younger voters and those who may feel fatigued by the political status quo will be essential for her campaign success. As she navigates these challenges, Harris must be prepared to adapt her messaging and outreach strategies to resonate more effectively with an increasingly diverse and dynamic electorate. The implications of this analysis extend far beyond mere electoral projections. They underscore the intricate interplay of demographic shifts, electoral strategies, and the evolving sentiments of the electorate that will ultimately determine the outcome of the 2024 presidential election. Both candidates possess distinct pathways to victory, yet the electoral environment remains fraught with unpredictability. Key factors such as voter turnout, campaign strategies, and the shifting political landscape will play critical roles in shaping the final result. 
making it imperative for both campaigns to remain agile and responsive to the changing dynamics on the ground. As the election date draws nearer, it becomes increasingly apparent that both candidates will need to navigate a challenging terrain marked by fluctuating allegiances and a fragmented political climate. Their respective abilities to adapt and resonate with an increasingly diverse electorate will be crucial in securing the presidency. Voter engagement strategies will need to be recalibrated continuously to reflect the evolving concerns and priorities of the electorate. In summary, while the analysis of best-case scenarios for Donald Trump and Kamala Harris offers a glimpse into potential electoral outcomes, the reality of the 2024 presidential election is far more complex than simple projections. Both candidates are poised to face unique challenges and opportunities as they embark on the campaigns, and the ultimate victor will likely be the one who can effectively mobilize support, address voter concerns, and connect with an electorate that is increasingly demanding and multifaceted. The next few months will prove pivotal as both Trump and Harris refine their strategies, build their coalitions, and prepare for what could be one of the most consequential elections in recent American history. The electoral battle ahead promises to be a fascinating and unpredictable saga, capturing the attention of the nation as voters begin to make their choices in the unfolding narrative of American democracy.